Hello. The movie Twelve Angry Men was originally a television production written by Reginald Rose. After it was produced with relative success, uh, Henry Fonda, who was one of the actors in the TV production, approached the uh, writer, screenwriter, Reginald Rose, and together they came up with the money and co-produced the motion picture called Twelve Angry Men, directed by Sidney Lumet. There are a number of strong features about this film, but I'd like to, uh, for the moment, share with you why it's worth noting that it's, that it's Sidney Lumet who is the director of the film. I'm going to mention three films, none of which is part of my motion picture uh, uh, collection uh, to be shown uh, on, online, but I'd like to urge you to consider seeing any one or all of these, uh, all of these films. The first one is called The Pawn Broker, which is really the story of a Holocaust survivor and the desperate tension that he lives daily uh, once he has moved to New York, the war is over, uh, but uh, the, uh, the life of the concentration uh, living uh, has stayed with him. And it is marvelously acted uh, by Rod Steiger. Another flick is called uh, The Verdict with Paul Newman. Deals with uh, alcoholism and uh, the uh, unfairness in the treatment of individuals due to uh, medical mismanagement. Uh, a third film in which Al Pacino stars is called Dog Day Afternoon and it deals with homosexuality. Uh, one more film that again Sidney Lumet is the director of is the uh, film uh, called uh, The Network which depicts the decaying uh, effects of the mass media and especially the result of commercialization. Well, each one of these films is highly realistic and that's the case with Twelve Angry Men. Uh, Twelve Angry Men attempts to show us both the, the, uh, the good parts and the not-so-good part about our jury process. Uh, our Constitution claims that uh, you and I are presumed to be innocent until found, until proven guilty, and that uh, uh, if a reasonable doubt persists in the examination of an individual case uh, prevails, then uh, that person uh, is not to be tried as a guilty individual. Well, not all juries, and maybe not most juries, make decisions on the basis of rational, analytic, factual evidence. As Twelve Angry Men uh, will illustrate, some people have already made up their minds due either to personal biases sometimes very strong prejudices, uh, sometimes because of totally uh, unrelevant matter uh, to do with the case uh, influencing their judgment. Now, there are two things about the acting that I'd like to call your attention to. One is these actors are what you call character actors, and each individual is able to inhabit his own role. He becomes that individual, even though he has no name. And uh, as I said, only two people uh, will be identified by their names by the end of the film. Uh, the rest of the characters are just noted by number. 
juror number four, juror number six, juror number eight, and so forth. 